Hey families, today we're gonna to be making our submarines. So from your bag, you have this picture of a submarine and these three pieces of blue paper. And this is a two-step craft project. So I'm gonna do the submarine first, but if you wanted to do it the other way around, that is totally fine too. So we're gonna decorate our submarine and I think I'm gonna use some crayons today, but you can use whatever you'd like if you wanna do some watercolor paints or maybe some daubers, whatever you'd like. I like crayons um, are great to use. Sometimes I know a lot of people are kind of tending more towards markers because there's a satisfaction you get that really deep color, but um, crayons are really great because the kids have to apply a little bit more pressure when they're holding crayons as opposed to markers. So it's a good um, sensory input for them. And if theirs looks a little more scribbly, that's totally fine and to be expected for toddlers. Um, most of them are probably gonna still be having that whole fist grasp, um, but as they get a little bit older, they can start moving to this, but no need to rush that. If they're just grabbing it with their whole hand, if they feel like they have better control that way, that's totally fine. But you can encourage them to use lots of different colors and talk about maybe they can color the window and the fins and the propellers in the back. And I think I'm done with my coloring. So I'm gonna cut this out and then I will show you our next part, which is making the ocean. Got my submarine all done and now we need some ocean for it to drive around in. So this part is a lot of fun and all they're gonna do is they get to tear some paper, which most toddlers really enjoy doing. So you might um, get started, just a little tip for them if they need some help and then they can just rip. Sizes. Now, if you're ripping it along this way, it's gonna tear pretty straight. If you switch it like this, you can see it doesn't go so straight, just the way the fibers are in these construction papers. So um, if they wanted little itty bitty pieces, you want to have it long ways like this and tear from the top. If you want more straight pieces, then turn it sideways and tear it this way. So I'm gonna keep tearing away into some pieces, then I'll do the next one. I have my pile of all my little papers that I tore up, and what we're gonna do is use these to make some waves along the ocean. So I'm gonna put some glue down here, and then stick on some of my papers. Yours might be a calm ocean, or maybe it's a crazy, super wavy ocean. And if you want, they can do the glue, or you can do it together, hand over hand. You can help guide their hands as they glue. And just put down as many papers as you want. You do not have to use them all, but if they're really into it, you definitely could. So I'm gonna finish making my waves and then we'll put it all together. Got my ocean and my submarine's gonna dive down in it. This last part is completely optional, but if you wanted to, you can print out a little picture with your child's face on it. Cut it out, it doesn't have to be on even photo paper, just print it on pr printer paper and you can stick them in there and they can be driving the submarine. So that's kind of fun, kids like to see themselves in their artwork, but again, that part's completely optional. Here is my finished submarine. Beep, 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 beep. Hope you have fun, friends. I'll see you next time.